Good day and have a nice day to everyone. I'm just really Sonia, another lector, taking the degree in Bachelor of Science, Marine Engineering, Section 1C. In this video, we will describe and understand the ship's structural members. It is important for us to learn it because the structure of a ship is a subject to strain during the bad weather conditions. The first that we will discuss is ship structural components. It is between longitudinal structural components and transverse structural components. So what is longitudinal structural components? Its primary role is to resist longitudinal bending stress due to hugging and sagging. So, ang tungkulin nito ay makakatulong upang malabanan ang pagbaluktot ng dakto. The longitudinal members are Ken is a large center plane girder that runs longitudinally at the bottom of the ship. Next, is longitudinal. It is girders running parallel to the kel at the bottom of the ship that provides longitudinal strength. The next is stringer. It is girders running at the sides of the ship and typically smaller than a longitudinal that also provides longitudinal strength. The next is deck girder. It is longitudinal members of the deck frame. The next is deck stringer. It is a streak of plating secured to the deck, beams along the outer edge of the ship's deck in order to connect the beams to the side of the ship and to each other. The next is belge streak. It is the streak at the turn of belge extending outward to a point where the side rises vertically. The next is shear straight. It is the topmost straight of the side shell plating. The next is straight. Straight is a course of plating. The next is plating. Plating resists the hydrostatic pressure load or side impact. The next structural components is transverse and these are transverse members. Its primary role is to resist hydrostatic loads. The first is floor. is deep frame running from the keg to the turn of the bench. The next is frame. Frame may be attached to the floors. Frame would be the part above the floor. Deck beams is the transverse member of the deck frame. The next is bracket. Bracket provides strength to the frames. The next is stanchion. Stanchion is used to support some structural item or provide support rails on the deck. Ganto ilarawan ang longitudinal members at transverse members. The next that we will discuss is transverse framing system. Deafening the shell plating prevents buckling and resists distortion of vessel due to the rocking. The frames support ends of deck beams and close this space where loading is higher especially at the end of ships. It also provides transfer strength. So ito nga daw ay pumipigil sa pagbalukto ng parte ng barko at sumusuporta sa part ng transverse framing system. Papakita ko ng Halimbawa at ipapaliwanag ko ang parts 
ng transverse framing system. So, this is the transverse framing system. The first is deck beam. The deck beam. It ties the upper ends of the frame. And doing the beam. The next is transverse frame or transverse framing. It supports inner button, inner button, and give longitudinal strength. The next is girders. We have two girders. The deck girder, this is the deck girder, and the sentry girder. This is the sentry girder. Girder is a longitudinal supporting decks. If there's additional decks, it always supported by beams and girders. It's also increased transverse and longitudinal strength. Beam is located at the end of the deck beam that connect to the beam and frame to the shell plating so ito po yun ang beam ni that is the margin plate or margin bracket is a longitudinal plate which passes alongside extreme end of the floors in way to the turn of the belge ito po yun So, transverse bulkheads provides water type boundaries and nagbibigay ito at nang susuporta para sa mga deck. Ang advantage nito ay malawak sa loob ng barko mahaba rin. Tapos, ito ay pwede rin pag-imbakan ng ibang antem. Pwede nga rin dito yung ano, mga vehicle katulad ng sa Roro. Ganon. So, if there's an advantage, there's always advantage. So, ano nga ba ang disadvantage nito? Ang disadvantage nito ay ito ay mas nangangailangan ng maliit na espasyo or kontamento para mag mas magkaroon ng matibay na haliti. Mas malinaw at mas maunawaan natin ito ang mga limbawa ng transverse framing system. The next that we will discuss is longitudinal framing system. On ship side, longitudinal extend from one transverse bulkhead to another. It provides longitudinal strength. The size of longitudinal, usually bulk plate, Depends on the spacing, pump between bulkhead, length of ship, and distance from the deck. Longitudinal framing system composed of longitudinal space, frequently but shallower end frames are spaced widely. Ito ay yung madalas na pagkakaroon ng spasyo, ngunit ang frame nito ay mababaw at malawak so, ikakaunti at malawak na espasyo I will show the parts of longitudinal framing system first is longitudinal bulkhead this is the longitudinal bulkhead this is the longitudinal bulkhead we have three longitudinal the side longitudinal this is the longitudinal the bottom longitudinal this is the bottom longitudinal and the deck longitudinal this is the deck longitudinal so what is longitudinal longitudinal is smaller and closely spaced. The inner bottom gives additional longitudinal 
and transverse strength. Transverse strength. The next is girders. We have three girders and longitudinal framing system. First is side girder. Side girder. Next is center girder. Center girder. And deck center girder. This is the deck center girder. Girders and high stress areas as double bottom spaces and under main deck. Ang advantage nito ay ito ay mahaba at malawak. At ang spasyo nito ay tuloy-tuloy at kaya nito magkarta. Advantage na rin kasi dito yung mainam na pag-iimbak ng mga hindi Ang pop na rin dito yung mga pang-carrier, carrier So, ang disadvantage na rin dito ay long large and open interior spaces. Disadvantage na rin dito yung mahirap magbaba ng mga item na break bulk. It is also difficult to store large and regular shape items. There are different longitudinal frames, like for hand for tanker. The longitudinal framing is much better to able to resist buckling when the hull is heavy. The next is ceiling plate. Ceiling plate were required to make floor water tight. The next is web frame. Web frame continues with deck. Girder. These are longitudinal framing for dry cargo, hand plating, and shell plating. Deck chair can reduce water on top deck, provide longitudinal strength of deck plating, better appearance, increase preserve buoyancy, and keeps deck dry in case of end compartment bending. Para mas malinawan at maintindihan natin, ito ang longitudinal framing system. The next that we will discuss is combination framing system. The longitudinal frames are retained at the bottom and under the strength deck to give longitudinal strength. While transverse frames are fitted on ship side where longitudinal stresses are smaller. Plate floors and, and heavy transverse beams are fitted at intervals to give transverse strength and support the longitudinal. So, ang combination framing system ay combination ng longitudinal and transverse framing system. So, most ship na Makikita natin ngayon ay combination ng longitudinal at ng transverse. So, this is the combination framing system. Like what we discussed before, nandito na rin yung part. Kumbaga, nag-combine na rin yung longitudinal at transverse framing system. So, it optimizes the structural arrangement for the expected loading to minimize the cost. This is the section view and plan view for the combination framing system. Mas malinawan at maintindihan natin, ito yung combination framing system. Thank you. Sana po ay may naintindihan at natutunan tayo. Keep safe. And that's just for a few months.